Hey family, today we're going to talk about why should you accept Jesus? There's a universal battle going on. There's a war going on against truth. The truth now is subjected to the person and however the person see that truth is. Truth is, I, I could give you an example. I believe a certain thing and that's truth. Another person believes a certain thing and that's truth. Another person believes a certain thing and that's truth. The truth is to whatever the person believes. Basically, it's molded into whatever the person believes. And that's not truth. Because the Bible says that the truth never changes. And the truth is absolute. So a person cannot have truth, his truth, and say his truth. And another person can have his truth and say his truth. It just doesn't work like that. So there's a universal battle going on. There's no way to know what's the truth except for Jesus because he is the truth. Also, God is the judge of the universe and he's judging the world according to what people do. Don't think, don't think just because Jesus Christ died on the cross that you have escaped from judgment. You have, none of us have escaped from judgment. Jesus Christ on the cross paid the price, but he did not erase sin. You understand what I'm saying? He paid the price, but he did not erase the sin. Why didn't he erase the sin? Because we're in the year 2019 and we still have sin in the world. So then Jesus Christ had destroyed it 2,000 years ago. I want you to think about that. So God is the judge of the universe. And as the judge of the universe, he has to give the penalty to whoever does wrong. His justice demands it. But Jesus Christ is our solution. He is our way of escaping judgment. So why should we accept Jesus? Well, first of all, we should accept Jesus because everyone has sinned. Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and come short to the glory of God. Everyone has sinned and come short to the glory of God. So we have a problem there. We have a problem. We're all sinners. This is a big problem. And since we have sinned, we must die. Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death. So since we're sinners, we have to die. So we have a problem is that we like to sin. And because we sin, we have to die. So we should accept Jesus because what? Well, because he is the way for us not to die and to live. Romans 5, 8. But God demonstrated his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So Jesus Christ is the solution for us not to die. He is the solution for us to live forever. Interesting that he died for us. A person who had no business dying for us. We should accept Jesus because he sets us right with God. He takes away this problem. Romans 5.1 Therefore, since we have been made right with God by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus our Lord has done for us. So Jesus Christ takes the justice of God and, and fills that justice and makes us right with God. With a holy and just God. A lot of people will say, you know, God is love. Yeah, He is love. But also God is justice. He's not just love. He's not just the God of love. It says God is a consuming fire. And God's justice demands the penalty for, for people sinning. But thank God that we have Jesus who bore our sin. Now, do we continue in sin? That Jesus Christ has died for us? No, that's another misconception in the Christian world. You do, not continue, you do not continue to sin. Read 1 John 3, the whole chapter. It says, whoever is born of God does not sin. He cannot sin because he's born of God. Just to let you know, the blood of Christ. We accept Jesus because he is our rock and our sure way of salvation. The scripture says, the stone that you, the builders, despise and turn out to be the most important of all, salvation is to be found through Him alone. And all the world, there is none else whom God has given who can save us. Him alone. He is that sure rock. He is the true foundation. We should give our, our life to Jesus because He is the true way so we can make it into heaven. And we should accept Him because He is the true way. And there is no other way besides Him. We should accept Jesus because through His death we are made friends with God when we were once enemies. Very, very, very important and very happy to read this verse to you. It says, We were enemies of God, but He made us friends through the death of His Son. Now that we are God's friends, how much more will we be saved by Christ's life? 
But that is not all. We rejoice because of what God has done for us through the Lord Jesus Christ and now has made us God has made us God's friends. So very, very important. I mean, we should accept Jesus because he, he takes the justice of God, flips it, and makes us God's friends. Very, very happy to read that verse. Wouldn't you want to be God's friend? Yeah, you would. We should accept Jesus because not only does he make us friends, he makes us God's very own children. John 1, 12. But to all who believe and accept him, Jesus, he gives us right to become the children of God. Oof, I want to be that child. Don't you want to be that child? We should all want to be that child. It's very, very happy to read these verses. Not only are we friends with God, He gives us the right to be children of God. We should accept Jesus because we can have eternal life through Jesus. We can have eternal life through Jesus. That means we no longer have to die. As Moses, this is John 3, 14 to 17. 14 to 17. As Moses lifted up the bronze snake on a pole in the desert in the same way the son of man must be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life for god so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him may not die but have eternal life for god didn't send his son into the world to judge but to be its savior Oof, that's very 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 happy we should accept jesus because he will save you and your family romans 10 13 Everyone who calls in the name of the Lord will be saved, you and your household. Don't you want your family to be saved? You don't want to be saved? Don't you want your sons and your daughters and your grandmas and your aunties and your beautiful family to be saved? You should accept him right now. We should accept Jesus because he takes our sins and makes it his own. And we are no longer guilty to stand in shame of a holy and just God. Anyone, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, anyone who is joined to Christ is, an, is new being, and the old is gone, and the new has come. He bore our guilt. He takes away our guilt on the sin. We no longer have to be guilty. People, people walk around guilty and angry and, and mad and cursing and everything because they feel guilty of the sins that they've done. But you no longer have to feel guilty. Jesus Christ has taken our guilt and bore it on the sin, bore it on the cross. And the last one. We should accept Jesus because he's waiting for us to accept him. Revelation 3, 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come to him and eat with him and him with me. Jesus Christ is waiting. So in the time that we live, in these last days that we live, it's very important that you accept Jesus because as we read, Jesus Christ is the only way. He makes us friends with God. You know, he makes a son of God. He's waiting for us. He gives us everlasting life. He saves us. He saves us and our family. So, you know, we have hard times coming. And the only way that we're going to be able to stand in those hard times is if we have accepted Jesus and allowed him to be in our life and to work in our life and to be with him in all the ways. We ask you, my beautiful brothers and sisters, that you would accept Jesus today and you would allow him to work in your life. Jesus Christ is coming soon and we have to be ready for him.